guys have saw nothing. Okay, there. Oh my god. I forgot to get up off the top. So. You have just walked in and you are a griefer. Why am I so dumb? You have walked in and you are just a griefer. Someone is out there, right? Apparently you move in and then you open these chests. You see both dirts. And then you finally find out what the fuck is that? Holy shit. Oh my god, how do you do that? Oh my gosh, there's so much scan teeth. Right? Before that's credit to the Farlanders YouTube channel, not not the mod. So as you can see, this is basically the whole thing. You could just like this right. See, it's like a bit laggy, but you can walk straight through it. I had to be more precise in this because. Up here, I put 1.5, I just couldn't put 1 because that will cover up the chest. So, let's get on. So, yeah, okay. This would work, but it doesn't. Oh, shoot. No, no. I, I did this last time. No. Damn it. Flint. Ready. Just keep it down. Okay, I'm gonna spam this with TNT because of one reason. It's running actually pretty fast. Throw you on. Blow up the redstone. Thank God. Oh my God. So let's get back to this. Oh, that was just a fail of the two foot flop. I know how to do it. But this block's kind of shaking. Cannot fix it. That's just how it is. So it's basically this whole entire command. So this is actually a falling sand. That's how you walk straight through it. But I'm actually going to make another thing. There you go. So you can just walk straight through this without suffocating. Whoa. What friend. I actually kind of meant to do that. But yeah. Mobs cannot see since it's a falling sand entity, right? Well, probably the dash can. But see, you can just walk straight through this without getting any fall damage if you put a block under it. That could be used for like this. It's kind of normal. The bottom block. Looks normal, but when you walk straight through, boom. So, the commands are. Da, 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 okay, I'm not so used to that. This is basically just a clock. It's just a clock. A fast clock, to be exact. So, it just. So, it's, not, so it's gonna set a block right there. The Y coordinate. And then I'll just spawn in a redstone block. No, I actually have to put the Minecraft apart. I just put redstone block zero, that means it will just separate that and then destroy. See, so it looks exactly the same. It's basically invincible. This one's exactly the same thing, you have to make a pair of that. Yeah, don't do that. Okay, you're just gonna fall. No, both of them are shaking. So this one's actually this one foot pop. This will have to be three because it goes one, two, and then three. So it goes up one, two, what? Goes up one, two, three. So that's found that. 
this is one. So zero, one, that will cover that. So this three, right? Zero, one, two, three. That's how it works. I need to do something wrong. Yeah, I'm not block output. No, it is command block output. If it is too true, there's going to be, well, there is going to be a lot. So I recommend to, for you to put it to false, because there will be nothing. Another thing that you have to do is tile drops. If you put it on, you're going to see what happens. Tile drops. Okay, look what happens. Everything just spits out because it's destroying the block. So, I recommend for you to put that to false. So you don't get spammed. Unless you want to do that. Then I'm okay with that. See, it just falls all over the world. Okay, there. No, no, damn it, damn it, no, no, no. Some of them do pop out, so that's pretty bad. See why I don't want you guys to. Yeah, let's put that to box. There, slash. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I really need to change this one point, don't I? Like, oh my gosh. Nope. Slash kill at entity. So we'll have to just form. No. So after that's done, as you can see, this can be a bit laggy. But if you try to shift, it won't. So this is how I put my chest. So if I just take the bottom one out, because I want to do it. No! F no you are not I'm going to fall. I take that top one. I take out the bottom, right? That means I just put a chest here and then open it. That's how I went straight through the block and the fog sand entity. So yeah. That's basically how I created it. Damn you. Ugh. Slash game wall. Bam, six feet. So I'm gonna get 50. Whoa, well, okay, that was fast. That's also an entity, so that won't do anything, but you cannot walk through it. It's a solid entity. So this basically looks normal, right? Nope. Trap door. Crap, throw my trap door. This and then um copy and then subtract. Document what the fuck? Del Del So you put that there and then you put that on and it's straight to the chapter. Which means you can still jump on it. So right here. Oh, trap doors are entities. What? Yeah, I meant to put it on top. Not actually make it more stable. Obviously, you cannot step on it. Bing up. Oh, what? Whoa, 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 my friend. I thought there was a block there. What a confusion, what? I thought there was a block there. Okay, so if I 
take this out. Yeah, there is no block there. I was falling saying I can't. Oh my god, that was I'm just kidding. I knew that the whole time. So since you guys like if you guys like this video because it was useful, right? Freaking falling sand entities. Yeah, also this works because you can just walk in here and you don't know, so you just like uh, that's what it is. So yeah. I'm gonna make another video on that right now in a few minutes. So if you guys enjoyed this, then leave a like if you enjoyed my amazing creation because I finally love falling sand. Then also leave a like if you are new to the channel, then subscribe. And I hope to see you all next time. Peace out.